Welcome to another episode of Science Made Simple. I'm Farhan. I'm a science specialist here at the Pick Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question from the topic of digestion. I've placed the question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. Question 9. The diagram below shows an experiment on starch digestion. Given this setup here, we are supposed to identify which setup after 20 minutes has the most disaccharide. What is disaccharide? And why do you have it suddenly appearing after 20 minutes? Now to help us, let's do a quick scan of the setup. You have starch in all the test tubes, and you have amylase in test tube A and test tube D. What is amylase? Now since it ends with an ASE, it is an enzyme. And what do you think amylase digests? Amylase digests starch. Now, one interesting fact about starch is, just like the scientific term for fats is lipids, starch also has a scientific name. And since we learned that the names of enzymes always matches its substrate of food, what do you think is the scientific name for starch? It must also have the letters A-M-Y. One of the scientific terms for starch is actually amylose. And that is why the enzyme that digests amylose is amylase. So what does amylase digest starch to? If you recall, starch is digested to become maltose. Now, is maltose the final product of starch digestion? No, it is not. It is not a simple sugar. Maltose is in fact a double sugar or a disaccharide. If I were to represent one ball as one sugar molecule, maltose will be represented by two balls attached together. Now let's recall what class of nutrients is starch. Now starch is actually a complex sugar or a polysaccharide. So if I were to use the same symbols, starch can be represented by many of those balls joined together. Now, this is actually the first step of starch digestion. Starch is digested to form maltose. What is the second step of starch digestion? Maltose is digested to form glucose, the simple sugars. If I were to use the same symbols to represent the sugar, glucose can be represented by single balls, which are not attached to one another. What is the name of the enzyme responsible for step 2? Remember, the name of the enzyme must end with an ASE and it needs to match the name of the food. So it will be maltase. Do you see any maltase in the setup? No. In fact, our setup focuses on the first step of starch digestion, where starch is digested by amylase to form maltose. Were there any setups that did not have any enzyme amylase? You can see that tubes B and C has no amylase. And if there are no enzymes amylase to break down starch, do you expect a lot of maltose to form after 20 minutes? No, so we can eliminate tubes B and C since there are no enzymes to break down starch. Now we are left with tubes A and D, which both contains amylase. Before we analyze these two tubes, let's recall another important information about enzymes. So enzymes have an optimum temperature and pH. What does that mean? It means that they have a pH and temperature that they work best in. And if amylase works best, do you expect more or less maltose to form? You would expect more maltose to form. The optimum temperature for most enzymes is around the body temperature. Now, just like you guys, you have a favorite temperature to set your aircon at when you sleep. Too cold, you're frozen and you can't move. And too hot, you can't sleep. Now, similarly, enzymes cannot work well when the temperature is below or above its optimum. Too cold, the enzymes are inactivated. And when it gets too hot, the enzymes are denatured or is destroyed. So, if you scan the temperatures of tubes A and D, now, tube A is at 15 degrees Celsius, that's quite cold, and amylase is going to work very slowly here. And tube D is at 37 degrees Celsius, that's around body temperature. That sounds like the optimum temperature of enzymes. So amylase is going to work best in tube D. Does everybody agree? Now look closely at the amylase in tube D. It has been boiled. What does that mean? Now if the amylase has been boiled, it means that it has been denatured. I'm going to write that down. So if the enzymes are denatured, can they still work? They cannot work. Do you expect any maltose to form after 20 minutes? No, you do not expect any maltose to form after 20 minutes since the enzymes are already denatured. So which tube will have the most starch digestion to form the most maltose? It is actually test tube 
A. No matter how slow the enzymes are working at 15 degrees, it will have the most maltose, which is the disaccharide or the double sugars, giving us our answer as option 1. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I see you next time. Bye!